I'm out here with my trusty sidekick, my bird beaver dog. He's not afraid of anything. Okay, maybe the water, but oh, here's a beaver slide that I found. And I'm calling that a slide because, I mean, it is. Um, got fresh mark up and track all in here from them, which is fresh. And Dixie, here. I noticed there's a fresh shoe in that stick right there by them. And there is, there are two more. Where the heck did they go? Oh, right there. And I'm chewed right off. I don't know exactly. I haven't found where he's damming because there's two other trees down downstream from here that he's got. So we're going to keep walking. But the one thing that striked my interest, Dixie here, was this. Because this was not here two months ago when I was up here trapping. This. And this is all fresh. I mean, that's as fresh as you can get. So, yeah. Got my work cut out for me tomorrow after work. So doesn't get any fresher than this. Look at that. Here's a slide right here, all mudded up. Look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna have fun out here tomorrow after quick. Here we go. Dixie <clears throat> here. Come on. Go. Come on. You just started on that. My God. Hit the mother load. <laughs> Check this out. This one's pretty cool. Good size tree, too. Good size possible. <laughs> Remind you, none of these were here to this point. Because I ate down here a lot. I found one spot that interests me. Didn't have much sign at all. <clears throat> Boy, was that wrong? Because he's been in here. Only thing I can think of is spot right here. Can we keep looking? Hey, Charles, this is freaking awesome. He's uh, here, here. Them have been busy. Yeah, look at this. out of this place huh? pretty turned around roads that way though so here Dixie come on here girl <laughs> not see any more twos yet here's a good one <clears throat> I'm getting into the pines up here a little bit ago, actually. So we're in that now. I parked and came in from the opposite end of the creek, so. Up at the beaver. There you go. So I just got done skinning this beaver, ran into some issues. I was pulling down on them and the skull popped off in the spine. But I managed to get it fully done. Um, left no fur, no holes, nothing. Now I'm going to show you how I pull the caster glands and oil glands out of these bad boys. As you can tell, oil glands, I, I nicked them when I was making my initial cut. But right here, you got your oil sacs right above the casters. Here's your caster glands, and these ones are good size. I mean, you can tell he's been marking his area to try getting these oil sacks out without losing a bunch of oil out of them. So we'll just slowly work away at the fat, trim away. Try not um, pinching those glands. I like to hold them where the hole's at, or it comes out by his vent. And there's one. Dixie, get out of there. Go lay down. Ah, 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 no. Get out of there. Keep those right there. You go lay down. Bird dog doubles a beaver beaver dog. I'm going to just show her here out in the garage with me and my youngest boy, Finn. 
being my video guy tonight. As you can tell, I'm not really fully set up for this yet. Uh, between work and snow plowing all winter, I'm, uh, I'm a little behind. This is actually my last run of critters for the season though so far. Beaver season's still open. I got two more coon, I got to skin out. And, but anyway, get closer buddy. Right here are his cashew glands. They're big gray, they kind of look like a dried up liver. What I do, I'll come in and I'll find it, grab both of them, and I'll cut a lot of crap off with them. Try not cutting the glands, as you can see I just nicked one. But then I'll just slowly pick away at them through the night. These are the castor glands themselves, right here. Only could save one oil sack. Um, I finally figured out where they're at. So the other one, I've literally put my knife right through the middle. But hey, we're well, we're still learning, man. No, that one turned out damn good. I'm I am proud of that one. Like I can openly say I am very proud of how this one turned out, how well I did. It's go time, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. I should have grabbed more jars. Not enough to fill another jar and a half in here. As you can see, this is my second set. I decided to go with a little bit of caster. Um, this slide ain't been used in a little while. There's a bunch of leaves up top and a couple pieces of wood in there. I mean, not to say he's not going around, but <clears throat> I look up and down the river bank and I'm not seeing anything really that looks like it could be used on the regular basis. So I did uh, decide to throw some caster in there and see what happens. I'll be back up tomorrow morning and check this out and be more prepared. I did see down here, downstream a little ways, there's a um, nice little spot where they've been, you can see the creek shallows up where they've been dragging their bellies at. So I might run a 3.30 in there, but I'm hesitant being I bring my pup out here all the time. I'm going to check, check traps when I come off. And so I'm hesitant on that yet. I might just make more drowning rods and go with that. So yeah. Here's my little piece of paradise. This is actually a really nice brook trout stream here up in northern mid Michigan. So, <clears throat> yeah, Let's see what we can do. So, what I did here, <clears throat> this was a beaver slide. I kind of modified it to my liking. <clears throat> and the blue bar is eight foot long. Got that ran down. It's anchored in the ground, anchored in the bank. You can see my trap made a mound just mud from this little area that's a piece of white popple that i caked in there caked on there some uh homemade beaver caster lure so what the idea is so there's your anchor point if you're up on the bank all it is is just a flat machine washer 18 inches or so from bottom so what happens the beaver comes up and say this right here is your mount. The trap's hooked off to this. Beaver comes up to smell the caster because it's what they use to mark their territory. That hence why they call it caster mount. Beaver comes up, <clears throat> investigates, steps in the trap. Natural instinct for otter, beaver, and ink must dive back in the water. This is one way lock. He falls down to the bottom, and that's my stopper. They go to turn around, come back, love the lock. The drowning lock locks in place. Then there's all drown the beaver. So there you have it. There's my first one. Um, I'm going to go set that slide. Probably no caster. Maybe just drizzle a little anise oil on it. And I'm going to head out of here. Um, see what two, two traps does here right now. Um, Really, the only reason I ran two tonight is because it's all the drowning rods I had left. I still got a bunch of rebar blanks in the garage I gotta make up tonight, so.